Mamata Labraka to Yau shine episode din mu na farko a Karatin Chemistry. Farko zan fara da introduction to chemistry. Idan aka ce introduction to chemistry ana nufin duk wani abu da ya tattara chemistry da guri daya. Since ancient time we are aware of the material around us to feed, to clothe and to shelter ourselves. What start as satisfaction of our basic need has now developed into science of chemistry. To look at Chumbaya, do one abubuwa da muka sani na amfani da da muke amfani da su kaya kayan abinci duk wani abu da muke amfani da shi shi yata aka tattara aka tattara aka kawo aka samu ilimin chemistry and this chemistry is the study of matter idan aka ce matter ana nufin duk wani abu da yake living under us duk wani abu da muka sani shine matter and this matter is defined as anything that has mass and can occupy space duk wani abu da yake da nauyi zai iya tafiya ko zai iya iska ta iya daukan shi muke kira da matter an example of this matter include plant and animal around us sune uh, um, plants the animal sune kamar dabbobi da tsirrai da suke tare da mu the food we eat abincin da muka ci the clothes we wear duk wani abu da aka sani they are part of matter and then we ourselves are matter mu ma kan mu za iya ce mana matter saboda isa ta iya daukan mu kuma muna tafiya a doran kasa so we study chemistry to acquire knowledge about matter we see chemical things around us and familiar activities muna yin karatun chemistry ne saboda mu samu wannan ilimin na matter and when the element shine do one familiar activities da muke samu tare da mu when no one in familiar activities ne activities ne kamar cooking that means girki burning of firewood ana kona itace shi ma is chemical change so ya yi fada on the chemistry so then things we use every day, every, every time like soap and detergent for cleaning uh soap and detergent for cleaning hair creams and perfumes for grooming kamar Omo da sabulu da muke amfani yau da kullum mi wanki mi amfani da su sannan da tarariruka da muke amfani da mai kan kitso to duk wayen abubuwan da on that chemistry so chemistry is very important in our daily activities chemistry gaskiya yayi yana da amfani sosai a rayuwarmu mi yasa chemistry is important because it's led us to 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 intent our basic need Chemistry yana da amfani saboda muna samun duk wani abubuwa da muke bukata like transportation, housing, clothing, food, water, clean air, soil. Duk wani abu da ya danganci amfani mu na rayuwa duk chemistry ne. Abincin da zamu cika yayin da zamu sa gidan da zamu zauna, transportation inda zamu je, motar da zamu hau, da bicycle da duk wani abu da ya danganci haka is on that chemistry. So this chemistry is very important because it has so many aspects. And I'd expect there were ya di bantalan bangarori bangarori there. Dai daga cikin bangarorin ko wance wayansu daga ciki like engineering, biochemistry, uh, analysis, education, law, theory, gasin and there. Diya danganci wannan bangarorin. And a person studying chemistry has so many careers. Do one day can teach chemistry and other careers there. Why not the Abu Bwen does it? Sabo the ones that say no need in current chemistry. Sabo the ina gan in current chemistry. Bani da bani da career design. Bani da aikin design. Maybe ina gan makarati in chemistry. Bani da one in design one. So chemistry has many careers. Ko and she has many job opportunities like health service. But even the kids knowledge of chemistry can be a doctor, nurse. Chemists, pharmacists, pharmaceuticals, yeah, then get that in the meeting. You wanna teaching service. A person with knowledge of chemistry can be a teach. Can be a teacher in secondary school and a lecturer in school, in universities, higher institution, and so on. So chemistry is important as input processing. Do one day that element chemistry can can go to food process can be a food technologist and extractive industries where we manufacture our food drinks and so on and in agriculture forestry etc so chemistry is very important because it intends us to meet our basic need of clothes shelter medicine house clean water air and soil so apart from this we have so many pl uh, we have so many categories in chemistry you have organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry and physical chemistry to start with organic chemistry a chemistry muna da bangarori da yawa akwai organic chemistry akwai inorganic chemistry akwai physical chemistry an muka dauki organic chemistry shine a chemistry of carbon compounds before mu fara inorganic organic chemistry akwai abubuwan da ya kamata mu sani a chemistry on that 
akwai physical and chemical changes that are undergoing under this chemistry so na akwai changes that are faruwa yau da kullun this changes example of simple example of this changes is water water can change from solid to liquid and gas and this solid liquid and gas are properties of matter ruwa zai iya komawa solid ya zama ya daskare ko ya kamar zama liquid kamar ruwa kenan ko ya zama gas ya zama kamar iska taya zai iya zama solid taya zai iya zama liquid taya zai iya zama gas the water can be solid by freezing and water can be solid can be liquid by melting and can be gas by evaporation ruwa zai iya zama solid lokacin da aka yi freezing din shi shi kuma ruwa zai iya zama liquid lokacin da muka yi melting as in a dauki kankara aje ta under heat ta melting say ruwa can be gas idan muka evaporate din shi a 100 degrees celsius a kada shi ya tafasa ya tafasa har ya zama gas so this are the changes between matter and dago and akwe physical and chemical changes the matter take on dago in physical change shine wanda muke gani a zahiri shi kuma chemical change shine wanda za a saka wani abu ko za a dan hada wani abu sai nan za a same shi physical change is one in which is easily reversible and in which no new substances are formed shi physical changes za iya dawo da shi amma kuma ba a samun sabon abu example dissolution of salt in water shine narkewar gishiri a cikin ruwa is a physical change physical change ne saboda ruwan gishirin in ya shiga zai narke amma the salt can be removed easily from the solution za a iya cire wannan gishirin daga cikin wannan ruwan easily amma kuma ba a samu new substances ba shi kuma chemical change shine is one in which is not easily reversible and in which new substances are formed shi kuma ba a dawo da shi amma kuma ana samun substance sabo example burning of firewood konawar ita itaci za a kone ice idan an kona shi za a samu ash ragowa that wannan ash din shine new substance din da aka samu we cannot reverse the process to get the firewood back ba zan iya dawo da wannan reaction din ba mu samu wannan firewood din ba so wannan shine difference between physical and chemical changes and all about physical and chemical change shine duk wani change da yake faruwa tsakanin mu na mu da muke amfani da shi kamar girki is a physical change saboda muna ganin shi yau da gobe shi kuma chemical change shi ma za a iya daukan girki a matsayin chemical change because sai mun yi amfani da wayan su suna da rai mun yi amfani da su mun girki amma normal physical change shine change in state iska sanyi da zafi is a physical change amma chemical change sai mun yi amfani da wani abu sannan za a same shi so to mu shiga cikin inorganic organic chemistry Organic chemistry is the chemistry of carbon compounds. Shine chemistry din da ake amfani da shi gurin sanin carbons na chemistry. And this organic chemistry has some terms or important terms. Akwai wayan muhimman abubuwa ne kamata a sani akan shi. Akwai homologous series, akwai akwai alkyl, akwai functional group. Wayan abubuwan guda ku su ya kamata mutum da yake sanya ko yi inorganic part ya fara sanin wayan abubuwan on diet. To take the first one, wa dauki na farkon su a uh, homologous series idan muka ce homologous series wani series ake nufi kenan is a series of organic compound which follow a regular structural pattern in which its successive member in its in the group define its molecular formula by CH2 group wani series ne ko in ce wani gida ne a cikin organic chemistry da duk wani member na cikin wannan gidan yana bambanta a cikin formula shi da wannan CH2 group din ta yaya example like alkene in muka dauki gidan farko na alkene suna da general formula of C2 CN H2N+2 su wannan formula ita take bambanta su da rago wa'in sai rana waje in muka dauki alkene yana da CN H2N and alkene yana da CN H2N-2 to daga nan an samu difference ne aka ce da man successive member define its molecular formula duk wani gida na wannan abu suna different a cikin wannan molecular formula to ko nga kenan a wannan alkene yana da CN H2N+2 alkene alkene yana da CN H2N and alkene yana da CN H2N-2 carboxylic yana da CN H2N+1OH alcohol yana da CN H2N+1OH so ko wani member ya yi different in its molecular formula yadda za a gane shi ana ganin wannan member za a ce wannan ai dan gidan kaza ne ana ganin wannan za a ce dan gidan kaza ne ana ganin wannan za a ce dan gidan kaza ne the second one na biyan sai na gama wannan bayanin sai mu fara rubutu saboda rubutu yana dan yawa ne the shi kuma na biyun shine alkene so in muka dauki no muka na na biyun shine alkyl menene alkyl wani zai ce an ce alkene an ce alkyl alkyl daban alkene daban Alkyl includes all the elements derived from alkene by the removal or by the loss of one hydrogen atom. Alkyl shine do one element da yake cikin alkene da ya losing hydrogen guda daya. 
do one element they lose on hydrogen with that they have them alkyl. So, so much in the series, and so methane, the achievement of methyl, the amazogram. So now, I call it functional group. She come a functional group is a is an atom or a group or a radical common to homologous series, and which define which determine the main chemical properties of the series. She come one atom, you call come one bond. If they are catching one bond, come as I'm able to do this, so so hard. To do one bond, they they can do a chicken homologous series, and make come in a determine main chemical properties of the series. If they are catching such a chicken, one net and if they are catching, so we dega alamashi. For example, for carboxylic acid, they are the COOH. The end of the compound. Me COOH is actually one compound in the carboxylic. Ni. Why? Because then I do one functional group in na gidang carboxylic acid. And for alkene, is actually I'm going to the single bond. For alkene, I'm going to the double bond. The moment I can go one bond, is actually one in the alkene. And for alkene, I'm going to the triple bond, is actually one in the alkene. And for alcohol, I'm going to the OH. Then I can go OH at the same compound, but I'm going to the alkene. But me, yes, sir. So there's actually one non functional group in the alkene. OH indicate that the gidang alcohol is. That's all about. Al uh, homologous series, alkyl and functional group. Abend the Zami and Zuzami rebut a series and the Mikela su alki. Akwa yi mina the alkin series guda guma. So nansen had a formula su and zamu bada su sabuda for easy identification. Na paruku akwai methane na biyu akwai ethane na uku akwai propane na hudu akwai butane na biyar akwai pentane na shida akwai hexane and na bakwai akwai heptane na takwas akwai octane na tara akwai nonane and na goma akwai decane Methane has the formula of CH4. Ethane Ethane has formula of C2H6, C3H8, C4H10, C5H12, C6 H14, C7, H16, C8, H18, C9, H20, and the can C10, H22. These are the alkene series. For the first one, synatopia acidic alkene. First one, acquired methane, she needed a formula of CH4. Ethane had the formula of C2H6, and propane had the formula of C3H8. Butane and the formula of C4H10, pentane C5H12, and hexane C6H14, and heptane C7H16, octane C8H18, nonane C9H20, and decane C10H22. So, when is it you know formulas in Tayamaka Samisu? Then, Mamurigamin Che, Alikane, and the formula of general formula of CN. H2N plus 2. When mentioning a general formula of alkene, to find this formula, we have to use this general formula. Let N is equal to 1 for methane. If N is equal to 1, that means CN H2N plus 2, meaning C1 H2 times 1 plus 2. C1 is C and H2 times 1 is 2 plus 2, meaning CH4. It is the same one than CH4 in Kena. For N is equal to 2, for ethane, we have CN H2N plus 2, meaning C2 H2 times 2 plus 2. C2 H2 times 2 is 4 plus 2, we have C2 H6. So the one no formula go back there. I'm okay. I'm planning it as this exam. Some way in no formula na alkene or way in alkene series. 
sannan in aka amfani da ita duk wani wannan da yake on da in dai on da alkin ne zai ba da daidai amma ragowa kowanne yana da general formula din shi so daga nan duk wayennan zamu amfani da su in on the wajen naming organic compound so dole sai an san wayennan sannan an san formula su sannan zamu zo bangaren naming to daga nan na kawo karshen wannan episode din sai ma dai episode na gaba shine zamu naming of alkene muga yadda wayennan alkene din za a kawo su a formula yadda zamu naming din su sannan bayan mun gama mu dauki alkene alkyne mu dinga daukar su dai bayan daya saboda mu san cewa yadda za a mun gan su a rubuce ko mun gan su ko ina ne da zamu naming din su daga nan nake cewa assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh